In the last video, I gave you an exercise to create a game where UiPath will generate a random number between 1 and 10 and will ask you to guess that number. If you guess the number correctly, it should say you guessed it right, but if you guess it wrong, it should give you a hint to try a bigger number or a smaller number depending on the number you entered. Alright, so let's take a look at the solution. The first step is to generate a random number. So I have used an assign activity where the random number is generated and assigned to a variable called random number. Next, I have an input dialog to get the number guessed by the user and the value will be stored in a variable called guessed number. Also note that I have set the variable type for guessed number as in32. So there is no need to use the parse method and convert it. Next we have a while loop which will execute only if the random number and guest number are not equal. If they are equal, it will go directly to the next step which is a message box that says you guessed it right. But if they are not equal, the next step is to find out if the number guessed by the user is greater than or lesser than the random number generated by UiPath. So we have an if statement where if the guest number is greater than the random number, then it will pop up an input dialog which says try a smaller number. If the guest number is smaller than the random number, then it will say try a bigger number. And every time the user enters a new number, it overwrites the value in the guest number variable. Once both the values become equal, it proceeds to the next step, which is the message box that says you guessed it right. So let's run the process and see how it works. But before that, in the interest of time, let's cheat this game and add a right line activity here and print the random number so we don't have to go through several loops. Alright, so let's start. Okay, so you can see the random number generated is 4, so let's enter 4. And it says you guessed it right. Now let's try again. This time let's enter an incorrect number. I'll enter 2. And it says try a bigger number. So I'll enter 5. And it says try a smaller number. Now let's enter the correct number and it says you guessed it right. Now let's replace this while loop with a do while loop. So I'll collapse this while activity and disable it. I'll add a do while activity and I'll just copy the if statement from our while activity into the do while activity. For the condition, we will again type the same guest number not equal to random number. I'm sure you have already guessed the problem here. This will work fine if the user enters a wrong number in the first input dialog because the do while will anyway execute the if statement where it will prompt the user to enter either a bigger number or a smaller number. And finally, when the user enters the right number, it will say you guessed it right. But what if the user enters the number correctly the very first time? Well, then we have a problem. The do while loop will anyway execute the if statement and will check if the guest number is greater than random number. It is not because both are equal, so it will say try a bigger number, which is misleading and the user will go through several loops before arriving at the same number which he originally guessed. So that is why do while is not a good fit for this requirement. But you could still make it work, simply put this entire do while loop inside an if activity and have it execute only if the guest number and random number are not equal. It is kind of an unnecessary step because that's why we have the while loop. But let's give it a try anyway. So I'll add an if activity. Type the condition guest number not equal to random number. And I'll move the do while loop into the then block and I'll leave the else block as it is because anyway it will go into the next step and say you guessed it right. Alright, so let's run the process now. Okay, so the random number is 4, so let's enter 4 here and it says you guessed it right. Now let's try again. And this time I'll enter a smaller number. And it says try a bigger number. So I'll enter 4. Now I'll enter the correct number. And here you go. 
So it worked as expected, but was the code clean? No, it had an unnecessary if statement which we could avoid simply by using the while activity. In the next video, I'll introduce you to two new types of collections, lists and dictionaries. Alright, so stay tuned.